in our series, The New Normal, we look at how the pandemic is dramatically changing our everyday lives. Black Friday is usually the unofficial start of the holiday shopping season, but for many people this year, it kicked off much earlier, actually. Retailers are having early sales to avoid crowds in stores and to avoid shipping delays. A recent survey found nearly half of respondents started their holiday shopping online by September. I am not in this category. Citing boredom while at home. Anna Werner looks at what's shaping up to be an unusual shopping season. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Well, you may not have started your shopping yet, but some major companies like Amazon and Target, they've already launched big online sales already this month, and they're seeing a surge in business. Meanwhile, however, many local retailers are suffering. So this holiday season, they're asking customers to think and shop small. It just really one of a kind. Just Louisa Cerruti and Nikki Lindheimer opened their tiny store Domus with its gifts and home goods in Midtown Manhattan 18 years ago. We could have had a teenager going to college by now. <laughs> so it's like our baby. <laughs> but sidewalks normally bustling with people are now often silent. It's been pretty devastating. Uh, we are a small store on a little side street and we are in the part of the Broadway theater district. Theaters are closed. Most tourists aren't visiting. This holiday season, Chiruti says, they're likely to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. For three and a half weeks before uh, Christmas, we do one quarter of the entire year of business. So each week is really like a month. And so it's going to be a tremendous setback. The pandemic affects the local artisans who handcraft their merchandise, too. Cerruti and Lindheimer usually travel the world buying goods, with a focus on paying a fair wage to the artists. Normally in December we are able to get replenished. This year I don't think we will be able to. Experts say foot traffic in retail stores is down, and consumers are cutting spending, too. Around 52% expect their total holiday spending to be less than last year. And according to a recent survey, nearly half of respondents plan to do their holiday shopping online. Ariane Durrell is one of them. Just to be a little bit safer, not just for myself, but for the people that are in the household right now, including my daughter. And the Marietta, Georgia mother says she's ordering early because of a snafu this summer. The electric Jeep she ordered online in June for her daughter's fourth birthday in July arrived late. July was kind of more of a lesson learned to actually take a little bit more time shopping for things instead of waiting for last minute. How big of a Christmas Grinch could the shipping issue be? This is going to be a big issue. Ken Perkins with the research firm Retail Metrics says online holiday shoppers should start now. You're looking at a potential doubling in the number of e-commerce orders this year. I think this year if consumers wait till the last minute, they're going to be deeply disappointed. Back at Domus in Manhattan, the owners say they've expanded their online offerings through their website and have safety protocols in place for customers who come in to shop. They make really beautiful. Yeah. They hope yeah. people will remember that smaller stores help make neighborhoods what they are. Small stores are really the flesh and blood of the community. And uh, this is not just uh, a lifestyle for us. This is our livelihood. So Chiruti's message this holiday season? Give the small businesses a chance. So what's the spending forecast for this season? Well, Perkins says it really could go either way. With unemployment, the lack of a stimulus package, some people are not going to be able to afford to spend a lot this season. On the other hand, there may be other people who are at home, they're not traveling, and they may want some retail therapy. Tony, I don't know which yeah. camp you fall in. but uh, I'm, I'm hoping things go in a good direction. I always like a little retail therapy as well. And uh, I hope people do shop local, because if you buy local, it stays local uh, and it's a good plan and thank you very much yeah.